Hello, my beautiful drone flying friends. So today we're gonna to talk about why your drone photos are grainy. So when you buy yourself a drone, it is all very exciting. Like the great thing about these drones these days is the technology allows you to like get out into the world as quickly as possible. Literally from opening the packet to flying, as long as the batteries are charged, it can be a matter of minutes. Now the thing is when you get all excited and out there and ready to fly, um, if you've got a camera drone, you're immediately taking photos. You're taking photos of everything and the world is amazing. You've never seen it like you've uh, seen it through uh, the eyes of a drone. It's just incredible. But when you look at those, whether or not it's on your phone, which is attached to a remote control, um, or through your uh, computer screen, which is behind the camera, uh, sometimes they're a bit grainy or sometimes they're not quite what you expect. So in this video, I'm gonna go over all of the things that I think you should check whilst in the air, but also um, sort of check before you start flying, just to make sure that you are getting the best quality photos you can get. If you're new to this channel, please remember to subscribe and hit that bell notification because I'm gonna talk about all of the tips and tricks about making your drone experience awesome. The first reason why your drone photos are grainy is because you're not actually looking at the high definition images that are stored on the drone. So whenever you're flying your drone with your remote control, all of you, all, everything you see is on the screen. So you're flying around, everything's awesome. You take a few photos and the photo here looks a little bit grainy. And I certainly noticed it when I was taking photos um, in the Warren Bungles recently. Um, when I zoomed in, they were just all grainy. And that is because the Photo stored on your phone is only what is live streamed and, and the quality really depends on the data connection and the quality of the connection between your drone and the phone through the, through the remote controller. Um, and so on here, that you are never ever gonna get the high definition photo. So on nearly every drone, there is a memory card. So in the back of the DJI Mavic, there is a small slot back here where the SD card goes. It also has internal memory. It has eight gigabytes of internal memory. So sometimes you have to plug it into the computer if your camera is saving to the internal memory. But most of the time they save to the external SD card that you would have put in there. Um, and that is where the high definition photos are stored. So go get your drone, take out the SD card, or check the internal memory. And I guarantee you that is where the high definition photos are stored. The second reason your drone photos look grainy is because they are zoomed in far too much. Um, you know, all of these drones have different resolutions. The DJI Mavic Air is a fantastic drone, but still it has a very sort of, you know, rudimentary camera. It's perfect for what I need. Go check out my video about if this drone is still worth it in 2021. Um, but yeah, it has, a, you know, an okay camera, but it does not do very well zooming in. And that's because it's got uh, no manual zoom. All of the zoom that I do online or with my phone or zoom in, you know, on a, on a smart screen, it's all digital zoom. And so if you're trying to uh, zoom in or crop your photos to a certain extent on your laptop, or desktop computer, then what you're gonna end up with is a very pixelated image. So just make sure that you're not zooming in too much post-production. And if you need a drone with zoom, check out the DJI uh, Mavic 2, which has zoom, and also the Parrot Anafi, which has a three or 2.5 times optical zoom. And uh, that means you can fly your drone further away from what you're actually photographing and zoom in optically. That is your best option. The third reason your photos are grainy is because you haven't got the manual camera settings correct for you. So I'm going to start up my drone and I'll show you what you can do with the ISO settings and the uh, aperture speed, the shutter speed and the aperture to 
uh, yeah, really get rid of that graininess if you're struggling to get it while the drone is in auto mode. Most drones have an auto mode, which kind of just, you know, use algorithms, software algorithms to work out the best combination of aperture, shutter speed, and ISO. ISO is essentially how uh, sensitive the sensor is to incoming light, and so that can actually make it quite grainy. Let's start up the drone and see where we end up. Okay, so I am in the DJI Go For app. It's recording up there, and uh, let's have a look at some of the settings. So I need to make sure that I am on the right settings, so I'm in the camera, um, and I can then go to camera settings. So the camera settings are normally on auto, um, but if you look at manual, you've got a few options in there. Um, the options are ISO, shutter, and then MM down the bottom. But uh, the ISO is really what can make your photos really grainy. So uh, if I turn the ISO all the way down, the one thing you'll notice is that the sensor has become a little bit less sensitive to um, light. And this in combination with the shutter speed, so if I increase the shutter speed, more light will get in there. And it may become a little bit more grainy, but as I push the ISO down, there we are, it gets darker, and I push the ISO up, I need to reduce the shutter speed so that not as much light gets into the sensor. Because essentially all of this means that this sensor needs light to work. And by varying the shutter speed and by varying the ISO, how sensitive that sensor is, that's how you kind of get this exposure of your, um, of your shots. And in low light at a low ISO, you can end up with very grainy images because if you use a low ISO and then you bump up the shutter speed, not only will you get motion blur, but you'll also end up with quite a grainy photo if there's not much ambient light. At the moment, I've got two studio lights on me, uh, so it's not too bad. But yes, dealing with the manual settings may actually help you um, with, your, uh, with your photos being less grainy. And that's what it's all about. So yeah, play about in there, go into the manual settings and uh, play about until you're comfortable with what the ISO, shutter speed and exposure does. So the fourth thing that I would recommend is just checking that your drone has the right camera resolution for taking the quality of photos that you want. Some cheaper cameras have much lower resolution and that just means that you need to use post-processing um, kind of tricks to get them looking as good as uh, an, a kind of higher resolution camera, but they'll never quite get there. So don't go comparing your drone with the top of the range drone images, just because it's like comparing, you know, chalk and cheese, they're two, two completely different cameras. Um, and unfortunately, the only way to get around this is to buy a drone with a better camera. There are a few little tricks that you can use in post-production uh, with like Lightroom by laying over things and using burst mode um, check out the article on that but uh, yeah you know just make sure that you are able to get the images that you want to take and the fifth thing that I would recommend is checking the format in which the photo is stored now a load of sort of professional photographers will tell you that the best way to store and capture your images is in raw mode raw mode is where they literally take the image and they do no post processing. The issue with this is that the images can get pretty large and if you don't know what you're doing, you can just end up with shitty images. Um, and so there's two ways to get it. There's DNG and JPEG. So JPEG is what we're all familiar with online, but that is a lossy uh, photograph uh, sort of um, manipulation system where it loses some of the quality by uh, reducing the overall size of the image and that just means that uh, sometimes that can result in like a grainy image. So make sure that you're storing your drone images in DNG. That's about a 20% saving in terms of the overall space that the photo takes up, but it is not lossy, which means there is no loss as it does this sort of reduction in size. So um, yes, if you're finding that no matter what you're doing, 
the images are still really grainy, check out what format you are saving your images in. So there we have it, there are my five things that you need to check if you are seeing that your drone has got very grainy images. Let me know in the comments what you think and also go check out droneflyingpro.com and I'll leave a link to the article that this video is based in on in the description because there is a ton more information in there that I think you will find useful. All right then, until next time, have a fantastic day.